Welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Today we are delving into the world of macrobiotics. We are going to present a very healthy and well-balanced meal to our noble audience. Macrobiotics? I don't think I've heard that word before. What type of cooking is it? Well, a lot of people say that. Macrobiotics has actually been around for many, many centuries. Um, the Incas of the South Incas. America. Yep, the Incas of South America actually utilized this, as well as the Chinese culture. All right. Um, there have been a few cultures in the past that have used versions of this. Um, this was actually brought back into popularity in the late 1950s in Japan, and basically the whole premise of this is, is you you eat natural foods organic natural foods, mm -hmm. and if you eat the right types of foods seasonally, mm -hmm. you in time become more sensitive to what your body needs as far as nutrition goes, and in fact, you become more sensitive to the world around you. All right, sounds great. So what kind of meal are we cooking today? Today, we are going to have a lovely lentil soup, and we're going to accompany it by a teaser Caesar salad for people that really like that savory tang of the Caesar salad. Um, this is a nice alternative without any animal ingredients. All right, let's get started with the lentil soup. Okay, okay. Well, first we need to review the ingredients here. You will need one cup of green lentils. And the key here, everyone, is to soak this the night before in two cups of water, okay? Next, you're going to use two stalks of celery. We will be dicing these. You're going to use one carrot, which we'll be dicing. All right. Three scallions will be, will be sliced. Okay. Organic um, lemon here. Okay, and our condiments over here. We've got five shiitake mushrooms. Which, My favorite. Uh-huh, yeah, me too. We're gonna slice these up. Okay. Two bay leaves. Mmm, bay leaf. A quarter teaspoon of cumin. Okay. Two tablespoons of your favorite kind of oil. Okay. This is canola oil, but olive oil works too. Okay. Um, we're going to have a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. And I know what this is. This is your salt. Yep, and we're just going to use a pinch of that. All right. Okay. Um, well, the first step would be to take our lentils. And boil it? Yep, yep. We, All uh, right. You're going to take the lentils that you prepared the night before. Okay. And the water and everything, you're just going to put this into a preheated pan. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. Ooh, boy, that really is sizzling. Let me turn that down a little bit. Okay. That's a very hot pan. That is a very hot pan. So what we're going to do here is we're going to let this boil for um, roughly 10 minutes. Okay. And while we're doing that, we're going to chop the vegetables. Sounds good. I love to chop celery. Okay. So what we're going to do is you dice these. Okay. And I will dice the carrot here first. So what makes lentil a good macrobiotic food in winter? It's kind of like eating like a nice stew. You know, you've got that hearty feeling behind it, that texture. And so, as a general rule, people have lentils in the fall or winter, and it's winter here in Oregon right now. Okay. So that's why we're doing this. So does it also have anything to do with lentils are harvested in late fall, so it makes it a good winter food? I think so. I think okay. so. Um, you know, when you eat it and you just you just kind of feel very warm and satisfied. Yes, I love lentils. Macrobiotics, it has a lot of healthy, healthy implications to it. People that are diagnosed with cancer, usually in the, in the early stages, are given a macrobiotic diet to follow by their doctors. That sounds great. By just eating right, you can get rid of cancer? Well, yeah, of course, you know, I mean, People that follow a meat-based diet, there's a lot of toxins in that, and they're always surprised when they switch to a vegetarian diet, that or a vegan diet, I should say, that almost immediately they feel a whole 100% better. That's right, and this is all in harmony with nature. Absolutely. We're supposed to eat vegetables anyway. That's right. That's right. Let's see, what have we got next? Yeah, well, the last thing we have is the scallions. Yep, 
And well, I'm since you call me fast, you get one, I get two. All right. There we go. So are you supposed to use just the white part or? I think you could use both parts. I've always I've always used both parts and it's worked out just fine. Okay. I think um, if our viewers do a Google on the internet on um, macrobiotics and it's spelled with an A, um, there's a lot of very healthy um, guidelines that they can find that will help with that here. We'll okay. Put, we'll put all of our scallions over here. Okay. So we'll have them all in one spot. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pre-slice our organic lemon here. All right. Just to make sure we have that. These organic lemons are so nice and juicy. I love them. They are very, very nutritious, of course, being organic. Without all those pesticides, how about that? Yes. This is going to be our garnish for our um, final Soup. product. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously you can decorate them any way you want, but just lemons are actually the way I prefer to do it. All right. Shall we check on our lentils? Yeah, I think those are coming along just nicely here. Okay. Let's take a look here. Look at that. Um, nice and soft, it looks like. Absolutely. Um, Can we put the veggies in yet? Um, I think actually would probably be around a good time to do so. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. We're going to put our carrots. Okay, so we're going to put our celery and our carrots in here. At this point, we need to add four to six cups of water. Okay. So I'm going to turn up. Turn up the heat again? Yep, turn up the heat again here. And I always estimate, but it works out just fine for me. Now that the water's in, we're gonna boil it for about, about 15 to 20 minutes. About halfway through, we're gonna salt it. All right, so how about we have a cup of tea and come back? That sounds perfect. Welcome back. All right. That looks like the pan is ready. It's yep. sizzling, boiling. That's right. We have, um, we've let this boil for 10 minutes. What we're going to do next, we're going to saute the mushrooms and scallions. All right. That sounds really good. If you will hand me the mushrooms. Mushrooms first. Yep. Okay. Put those in here. And, and a scallion. That's correct. Okay, and we're going to put those in here now. We're going to saute these for about a minute. Okay, one minute, huh? Yeah, and basically we're just looking at about two tablespoons worth of oil here. All right, it's nice and sizzling. I'm I hearing always, it. I always like this part. Especially, you know, if it's cold outside and you come in yeah. in your house and you've got that nice warm yes. smell in the air. I've already smelled the scallion. Yeah. It's very nice. The mushroom is looking nice. We're just getting these heated up. All Saute right. a little bit. We're going to put back into our mixture here. Okay. And then we're going to add the remaining ingredients. Sounds really good. Yeah. Okay, I think we are ready. All right. We're just going to put those in here. And, and put this back on the stove. Yep. Mix it. Yep. Kind of reminds me of camping, which a lot of us in Oregon like to do. Yes. That's right. This is actually a really good idea for those that like to camp. Basically, one pan or pot, and dinner's ready. What about... Now the seasonings. Yep, yep. Is it time to put them in? Yep, I've got everything all mixed in. I wanted to make sure that everything was kind of distributed. Okay. So okay. If, if you'll hand me the two bay leaves. Bay leaves. Yep. Now, minor crumble, but they work just fine. Okay. And then, I guess, uh, the cumin. The cumin? Yes. Yep, and quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon. Hand Tiny in the box. bit, yes. Let me stir that in here, and I see you've got the turmeric. Turmeric, yep. 
It starts to smell really good. I wish our viewers could smell this because it really does smell good. I'm getting yes. hungry. Yes, me too. Okay. So What's next? Turmeric? Turmeric. Turmeric actually is a really neat thing. You know, and for those that have seen some of um, the other episodes where they do scrambled tofu, it adds a depth color. Yes, and it it smells wonderful. Yes, it does. Oh, I can smell it immediately. Here. Yes. And then I think we are ready for just the salt. All right. We're almost yep. done. And this is where my old school teaching comes in. We're just going to throw a pinch in there and we're done. All right. Yeah. <laughs> The last touch. That's right. That's right. I'm oh, I began to get really hungry. Well, you know what? We're ready for everyone that can see this. This is a very, very nice, colorful dish with a yes. lot of textures and a lot of flavors that work really well together. So we are going to take this and serve it up. All right. A little in here and of course for our audience in your kitchen um, some people might like to use a little bit more water than we did mm -hmm. people that like more broth okay um, just depends on your taste so we're going to take if you'll give me a slice of lemon please okay we're gonna put that here okay and presto Go. Perfect. Okay. Looks like a really nice wholesome meal. Yes, it does. And I guess now it's time to set up for our salad. All right. Okay. Please come back to join us tomorrow on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. We'll learn how to make a wonderful vegan Caesar salad to complete our balanced and nutritious macrobiotic meal. Coming up now is Between Master and Disciples, here on Supreme Master Television. May your days be blessed always with serenity and joy. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com slash VEG.